Oh! I'm telling you, I get, I, get sca I get scared from the stupidest crap. Like, like nothing spooky has really, ha or at least genuinely scary, has even happened yet. So, we're in for a treat. Ooh, what is up, ladies and gentlemen? I am the Story Driven Gamer, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we are hopping back into The Devil in Me. Last time we got a little look at the, um, in the past rather, we got a look at the murder castle, the hotel, and some shady was going on, our two protagonists, I mean obviously some shady was going on, it looked like it was run by some, like, serial killer or something, he gassed one of them to death and the other he, like, sliced up in the, in the bathroom, and he's been sentenced to death, he was buried in some, like, underground, under cement, but I'm guessing that's not the end of him, I'm assuming he's in some way immortalized, or somebody is going to be carrying on his work. But now we're taking control of this uh, film crew of five. No point just standing around. Okay, I'm, I'm doing my intro. Okay? It takes some time. Um, and yeah, we made our way up to a gazebo to take a shot. Like, a two-second shot. And then we took a boat over here, which is where the... I'm assuming the same hotel is. So, our character here, Kate... Just faked an injury. As you can see, her ankle is fine. Also, that we can take a, you know, snoop around without uh, our hey, host can I noticing. Ask you and get a sure. Answer, you know, without you making a smart ass reply or taking a shot at me. No I promises. <laughs> uh, tell me the truth. What's this? Is there any saving this show? Maybe. Is there some sort of magical holy grail of footage or information to be had here? You think that's likely? No. At best, we'll get some nice B-roll. That's not gonna save our asses. If we're lucky, there's nothing uh, going on here. <laughs> okay, so what is this, a shoe? Ooh, finally, a secret. A stiletto shoe missing a heel. Ah, when does that belong to Mary? Or maybe somebody else entirely. Mary was the lady we were controlling in the first episode, if you remember. I don't remember what shoes she was wearing, so I don't know. Interesting. That's our first secret of the game. I like I can actually like run around, at least outside. What's this? Oh, it's one of these oval thingies. Nice. Still not sure what we actually do with these. But I found two of them, so. Private property keep out. Okay. The sign says to keep out. Let's uh, go back. <laughs> I wish. Up we go. Bit of a scramble. I feel like those oval thingies are hard to spot, so I'm trying to like I guess we go up here. Oh. Wanna make sure I don't miss any. <laughs> That'd be funny if there's just some like shopkeeper we run into. <laughs> you can buy weapons. Or we'll upgrade go weapons. Ahead. Got it. Wait, wait, that was me who was talking actually. So I'm Kate. I'm trying to remember what her name is. Jamie? There was a Jamie and an Erin. I think she's Jamie. There's only five <laughs> there's only five characters, but it's still gonna take me some time to get used to names. Okay, so we came from there. Which way should we be going? There's a couple of different ways I can go. I feel like we're probably supposed to climb up there. See if there's any way into this building. Okay, add him away. Yeah, I can't get in there. Okay, it doesn't look like it. I was gonna see if I could get into this building, but I guess not. Maybe this is the way. Uh, could be. You could have told us to dress for a trek. <laughs> oh. 
Watch this, watch this, watch what you can do in this game. Can't... Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Not only can you climb stuff, you can jump, you can jump. Oh yeah. Okay, go this way, and do it again. Ha! Isn't that awesome? You wanna go first? I'll go first, okay? Try not to fall and die. <laughs> Don't jinx me. Thanks for the concern. Really. Oh, stay on. Success. Okay. Let's explore this room here. A train. Or a trolley. Straight up and down the hill. Yeah. But what's on the other end? Good question. We'll probably never know. Now I'm sure we'll... Maybe it's a shortcut. Okay. Keep on trucking. <laughs> Have you ever played Uncharted, Jamie? They do this a lot. Okay. It's not going back up there. You live out here on this island? Oh. Get down with your family? My wife is... She died. Oh, shit. Sorry, I didn't mean to be rude. Come on, we're about to... You didn't see us. Let's go. Hang on, I'm waiting until they're, I'm waiting until they're gone. There's nothing out here. Okay. That's a cool mechanic. I'm excited to see how they'll implement it when we're actually in danger. I mean, it's pretty obvious how they'll impl implement it, but... So far, I like, uh, I like the little changes they've made. Okay, where should we go next? Can I climb up? I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I can't climb under there. There's a little trolley thing. Okay, why are you still down there? It's locked. Oh, I'm gonna have to go up over there. Okay, let's jump over here and inspect the uh, trolley thing first. Maybe this is the way. I don't know, is it? I don't want to continue yet. Well, usually it gives you a little symbol to tell you that you're about to move on. I don't know if I want to do this. I'm, I'm very confused. Hang on. Okay, yeah. You know what? Let's just go this way. This isn't like a destination or anything. It's just a building, so... Hopefully there's some clues in here. A hook? Oh, a dead, a dead rat, Jesus. or something. Ah. Okay, at least it didn't jump scare me. I'll take what I can get. <clears throat> Nothing down here. There you go. Now I can climb in here. I heard you were looking for a new place. Not sure I can afford to run on this one. <laughs> That's sad. Not on this one. That's the light, though. 
Do another picture. Okay, that's another good fortune, so... Okay, so you turn somebody around in a wheelchair. That's supposed to be a good thing. Haven't, haven't encountered any of the death pictures yet. What do we have here? Uh, Mediterranean Cruise, 21. Looks like you might have a family. Ah. A photograph of Dumet with a woman and child. Good for him. Hopefully he didn't murder them all. Or something. Bird spotting. Spotter's Guide to Birds of the British Isles. An in-depth guide to the birds that live in and migrate to the British Isles. Easily identify birds with color photographs. Discover where you can find each species and learn about their unique personalities from expert bird watchers. Once you find some feathered friends, you can make your own observations using the handy notes section provided. Be sure to look for other publications, including its A Bird's World, Following the World's Most Sought After Birds, My Fingers in the Way, uh, A Guide to Travel in the UK and Beyond, okay, shut up, and, <laughs> and of the Great Birds of the World. You interrupted me, Jamie, or whoever was talking. Okay, I can't actually open it. Now, if I remember correctly, who was it? Was it the curator who, like, when he first came in... He, like, dropped, like, a bird feather. There we go. So I guess that's all that's in here. The picture, that picture, and then the picture frame. Okay, cool. In that case, let us move on, then. Make sure I'm not missing it. What about over there? You haven't moved from that spot. What are you talking about? I can't tell if it's me who's talking or Jamie, actually. Okay, now you come over here. I mean, they do have very distinctive voices, and we're being watched. Lovely. If I to go on nature hikes, I wouldn't have moved to the city. This shit is not in my job description. Maybe less complaining and more walking. I mean, I've just been complaining since I've gotten here, but... Oh, oh what's that? Another oval thingy, Majigger. I wonder how many of those are in the game. 10,000. Good luck finding them all. Alrighty. I'm glad I discovered that. This reminds me of Sith Summer Camp. You mean like the quarry? Also made by Supermassive. Okay, how far away is this hotel, man? Okay, there's stuff in there. Hopefully we can get around from this side. Okay, if I can get the car moving and stop it here, we'll be able to get across. Okay, a fuse box. Take a look at that in a moment. Oh, I'm stuck on something. Oh, a ladder. So that'll take me where up there. And then what, I can jump across or something?
I just want to make sure I take the appropriate action. Like, I don't want to move the story forward just yet. Let's see what happens if I inspect this. You see the control panel? Ah. Crash. I don't even think there's power. Okay, so I think we got to get in there anyway. Because I think I saw our power box. And that seems to be where the wires are going anyway. Okay, so let us, I guess, climb the ladder. Hello, can you see me? I would wave if I could. Okay, jump over here. I see something. Hopefully something importante. Oh. An oval? This one has a skull on it. Oh! Okay, so some are worth more than others. Cool. What about over there? Yes, I'm aware. I don't know if those are supposed to be hints or not, but they're just saying, over there. So it's not much of a hint, but... I suppose that's for the best, because I don't... I don't want constant hints as to where I'm supposed to be going. Okay. So we'll just turn the power on. Let there be light. Or power, in this case. Give it a shot. Jamie. Okay, it is Jamie. Okay, switching over to Jamie. To equip the multimeter, Jamie can use the multimeter to fix fuse boxes. Yeah, fuse boxes. So I guess there are certain devices that certain characters have. Uh. So I just flip one and see what happens. I don't know how I'm supposed to use this. Oh, wait. Am I supposed to use this? Uh... Oh. Oops, hang on. Okay. I wasn't even paying attention to the, the sign here. I was, I was looking at this meter thing. I don't know what it does. Oh, I'm, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I was just following the pattern. Okay, so I'm supposed to do this. Then this, then down, then right, then... Wait. Yeah, it says follow the arrows, but... I technically did. Am I supposed to leave it at that? Oh, and then this? Ah! God damn, I'm brilliant! I mean, you were being controlled by me, so you, you messed up a couple times, but... Okay! So is this thing ready for use? Okay, we're just climbing it. Okay, so we can't actually ride it to the top, we're just using it to get as a shortcut. What's through here? Oh. You hear that? Somebody's up there. Uh, I don't like this. I 
I'm, I'm still holding the L2 button. I don't know if I have to in a cutscene, but... Just to be safe. Okay, we're good. Okay, so we got a creepy guy in a raincoat. Fantastic. Okay, that is locked. Okay, I don't think we want to go up there yet. At least I don't. Wonder what these are. Warning: hazardous substance. Ooh, what do we have here? An invoice. Covalent exchange. Client is Grantham Dumet. Cola River. Description amount. It says I can use a pen. No harm trying. He can use a pencil to find out what was written in the twin paper. Oh, I can do the, uh... The little pencil trick. Potassium hydroxide. Potassium hydroxide, 2.5 liters, amount 40. Okay, I don't know what he would need that for. Interesting, that wasn't like a, uh... I didn't go in my secrets or anything? Okay, well, anyway. At least I don't think it did. Is there a way to get in here? Looks like that's where we're supposed to Looks like that's where we're supposed to go, but I wanna see if Oh, what's this? Ha! Almost missed you. Oh, what what is this? A secret. A duenna? Oh, it's the heel! Heel from a stiletto shoe. A woman got into difficulty on the island and broke her heel. The heel matches the stiletto shoe that was found. Ah, so we already have a connection. Okay, glad I found it. Now I don't know if we, I don't know if we can go into like every locked door we find or not. But it is clearly locked. And I don't see any way in. Oh, can I climb up these boxes? No. Wait, can I? No. I thought maybe I could climb up a box and go up there. Okay, that's that's a. Uh... I don't want to miss anything, but let's keep going. Maybe there'll be a way to circle back around. I hope. Now that I think about, it, I think that might have been the way that the guy in the Winko went. So it might make sense hey. that we can't just follow him. Oh, hello there. Oh, oh god, that's so much better. I guess I just needed to rest it for a minute. I think I'm okay. It's on a shortcut up the hill. I really need you to stay where I say. Really Better convincing lie it. there. <laughs> here now. Let's head on. Everyone, stay under the watchful eye of Mr. Dumet, please. Got it. Kate. What do you think? A summer camp from hell. Whatever. We're gonna find out what's up his sleeve before we take off. Don't worry about that. Rickety wooden bridge, love it. Coming or what? Uh huh. You afraid of heights? Maybe. <laughs> yes. Oh, shit! We're all going 
gonna die. I wouldn't do that. Go. <laughs> oh my god, relax, Mark. I'm gonna be empathetic here. You can do it. Eyes forward. Don't look down. I got it. It's fine. Is it though? I'll be a guide. I shouldn't have left. It's just water down there. You can swim. Besides, the bridge looks dependable. Here. Very, very reassuring. Come on. I'll help. That's it. Oh, there's something going on between them. Okay. Don't look down. Yeah. <laughs> See? It's not so bad. Kate, I'm looking down. <laughs> Thank you. You always knew how to get me through the shit, didn't you? We should catch up to Mr. Dumet. Ooh, I see some uh, apologies. Uh, a bit of romance Come on, let's happening. Go. We're the day, people. And he ruined it. Hey, drink up, guy. Does Dumet know he's there? Is he like a caretaker or something? There it is. Wow, Mr. Dumet, this place is magnificent. Yeah, maybe this won't be a waste of a weekend. Try to keep out. Wonder who you are. The heck was that little girl? What are you doing? I just want to read that. Yeah, Kate's walking on the window of the hotel. So just to be clear, this is supposed to be the same exact hotel, right? Or is this a completely like separate hotel? I I, Cause I know it's been many know. years, but this seems like a okay. very different location. Maybe if you're one fan. And now she's lost forever. You are such a dick. Yeah, she's kind of she's kind of an asshole. I'm not gonna lie. Everything in here is fragile. Please be careful. Okay, at least we finally made it to the hotel. Nah, this is brilliant. Oh, the interior looks oh. the same. Yeah, it must be. Look at this. It's amazing. This is intense. Would you all mind signing in at the desk, please? Uh. You got it, bud. This isn't everything. I'm sure the rest is almost here. I'll, I'll make sure it gets to your room. Kate's makeup tapes are slowing us down. Can we trust this guy? Aaron, I think not. Red. Blue backpack. Settle in, and I'll meet you all at dinner. At ease. Mr. Dumet, I Ooh. cannot say thank you enough times. This is truly fantastic. I told you all this was a good plan, didn't I? I told you. I seriously doubt it. There's a there's a picture. Does that count? Is that one of the pictures I need? For my collection? O one seven eight. Is that the building's address? Okay, looks like an old lady. Oh, we're getting we're getting random glimpses glimpses of random characters. Oh, there you are, Betsy, Betsy, Betsy. You've been out and about all day, and I have to sit here worrying. Gone all day, and not a word from you. 
I have a theory. I mean, I don't know if it applies to everybody, but like this, maybe this lady in particular, is she like a puppet? Like, is she actually like a dead body that's being puppeteered by somebody? Okay. This is Erin, right? Oh, I think that's the little girl. No. <laughs> Sorry. Jamie, second floor Jamie. quarters. Oh my god. I think I peed a little. How did you not hear me coming? I was... Distracted, what to say. I don't think we're the only ones here. Yeah, Kate saw a little girl looking out a window at us when we were outside. That's who I saw. A little girl. Mr. Demet probably has family, a staff, maybe friends. There's a hotel. Oh, that said, this place does give me the willies. It's, um... It's unique. Are you singing? Oh, yeah, that's my being scared song. This is my don't be scared song. Sing it and I won't be scared long. <laughs> Doesn't really work. I bet. Nah. 181. Uh, I think I'm around the corner. 183? This is me. Okay. Okay. Good luck out there. Don't get lost. Scream if you need me for anything. Thanks. I got you. I think I'm playing as Jamie, though. I'm scared of. Actually, hey. Yeah? Why don't you hang a second while I unpack, then I can help you find your room? <laughs> She's like, oh, thank God. Life, if you want to use the buddy system. Yes, thanks. I'd end up lost, probably. It's just a hall, see? A hall that you get lost in. And here we are. Well, it's, um, cozy? Not as nice as the honeymoon suite. Mm, cozy is fun. If we have to double up like last time, we've married by morning. You talk in your sleep. Not sure I ever told you that. <laughs> sure? What did I say? Actually, it was just a bunch of incoherent swearing. Oh. I was aware. Aaron likes me, yay. I was reading Kate's social media posts. Ugh, crap, she's dead. Okay, don't hate me, but she's been kind of nice to me. I mean, I think she's more upset about Mark than she lets on. Lies. She's a robot. Is Mark the uh, guy, the bridge guy? The guy who's scared of heights? Uh, where's the bathroom? No, Wait, don't stay away. Old school. Oh, uh, gross school. What if I have to pee in the middle of the night? Am I going to walk in on Charlie sitting on the pot? Guess that means there's no mini bar either. Oh. Shows what you know. Ah. What is that? Wine, genius. Uh, I feel like if we start drinking, Charlie will find out and lecture me and make me feel like an asshole again. Yeah, he does that. But you're not on the clock. Doesn't pull a rig into suit. Which is hard to do drunk. <laughs> I'm not suggesting <laughs> we get full on a hammer before we work. Why are you doing that? I'm thirsty. Also, you're cute when you're worked up. I don't... Oh. Oh. You think I'm cute? Hmm? Hitting on me? Or her? Oh. I don't know who I'm playing as. I think I'm playing as Jamie. Should I... Should I... Should I, uh... Should I encourage this? Eh, why not? Gotta stick on my own if you want to share a lip cootie. Thanks, but I can find mine. I, I was just trying to be friendly, just, you know. You do you. Let's go. Uh, Ooh, we're getting very close. It's uh, all the way against the wall. Uh, See it? Is my arm gonna get chopped <laughs> off? You okay? <coughs> Shit. <coughs> you trying to scare me now? <coughs> no. Revenge? Because, good job. Erin can use her inhaler to stop asthma attacks. Oh, great, she's got asthma. Since when did you have asthma? Since I was born. My meds are good. It's normally not a thing. I just need to be more careful of things like dust and pollen and getting the shit scared out of me. Fair enough. I'm an asshole. I bet that's gonna happen a lot. You didn't know. It's fine. 
promise. You sure? Sure. I'm sure. So, uh... Okay, I definitely, I definitely see some romantic tension between it? them. <laughs> you gonna try that? And now you're poisoned. Not that bad. You're not lying. It's... You know, that's how old it is. <laughs> Decent vintage. Sure. I'm getting oaky undertones, a hint of citrus. I'm not a big drinker myself. I don't know nothing about uh, drinks, alcoholic oh, beverages. I want to say a strong, healthy amount of moldy sweat drops. <laughs> oh my god. Gross. I hate you. You are such a liar. Why not? Oh, sorry. I thought you meant a thinking you were cute thing. Really? Um, if my cheeks are red, it's from this wine. Sure, not because sure. I am bashful. I swear. Really. Sorry. Didn't mean to make it feel weird. I, I yeah, it's just we work together and Charlie is always on me about being more professional and I get it. No, I mean, I, I'm not... Yeah, they seem like very opposite personalities. Anything. Or that I don't think you're cute, too. It's she seems like kind of like the nervous um... type. Ah, do it. The game just started. What are you doing? I, oh, my God. I, uh... I... <laughs> oh, you bitch! Oh, I, th I thought I did something wrong. I'm just fucking with you. I wanted to kiss you for months. I just... Scared to make a real move. She's quite the jokester. Okay, I got a trophy for it. I don't know if now's the time, but. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> what happened? You push her off the bed. Who is that? Hopefully, it's one of our friends. I mean, it looked like he was trying to knock on the door. I was gonna say nothing. Sorry, did I uh, interrupt something here? No, we're just talking shop. We're worried about the power. Yeah, generally it didn't look like he was eavesdropping. Yeah, yeah. It, this place is running on a generator. He, like he was like a mid knock. I don't care what you guys are doing. Then why are you lurking? I can't find my room, and I need a fucking cigarette. These funny shapes are numbers. They go up and down in order. Thank well, you. I think... I've just been down there. Look, give me ten, and we should get a rough plan for getting our first shot. Yeah, I believe the uh, the hotel room like changes, or the hotel layout changes. Chill for a minute after the trek getting here. That's what happened I in the prologue. After dinner, you've got ten minutes. Okay, we'll be down in a few then. Oh, Erin, I checked my blue bag. No cigarette. That's where I put them. Come and show me. Maybe one of us is colorblind and doesn't know what a blue bag is. <laughs> to be continued, then? Yes. Definitely. Okay, guess I'm keeping this train rolling. Good luck finding your rooms. And don't die, please. Thank you. Again, I really do like the setting. I can't wait till uh, shit hits the fan. Okay, there's the girl. Is that do? Is that do? Do met? They hot. They hauled ass. They want to get off the uh, island. Maybe that is his daughter then. You found the picture of his uh, wife and child. Ooh, what was that? Oh, it's a one-way 
One way mirror. Great. Shouldn't surprise me. What the heck am I looking at? Some kind of doll? Oh, that's says creepy AF. It look kind of like Kate. Oh, this is, this is, I'm just unsettled. Charlie, Charlie's bedroom, 7.27 p.m. October 26th. I'm looking. This takes place very close to the Halloween. To have this. So it's very fitting. Breaking down walls, navigating the maze of anxiety. Are you fucking kidding me? I think she thought it might help with your stress. Or... Absolutely not. I'm not stressed. Okay. Uh-huh. Do I look fucking stressed? You look angry. That was rhetorical. <laughs> He's like, don't answer that. Your card came out nice enough. Oh, yeah. Embossing. Makes a huge difference. You old guys love business cards. Old school. You old school guys. I also put it on heavy Okay, he can use his business card to open locked doors. Damn. I should have had one ready when there was still there. Did you find them? I, no. I swear I put them in here. I don't understand. <sighs> Jesus. Now well, let's not get desperate here. Look, stop tearing around in there like a maniac. Be organized about it. Methodical. That blue bag, front pocket. I made a specific mental note of it. They're gone, Charlie. Gone? Just like that? Why don't you pack your own damn you cigarettes? Somebody took them. I, I don't... Actually, I can see Kate doing that. Or Jamie. I'm sorry. Don't be turning on each other. Okay, yes, let's... It's fine. Let's, let's be just cool. get on with things. This place is massive. Surely there is a pack of cigarettes in here somewhere. Even if they're ancient. You need them that bad? There was a bar off the lobby. There must be cigarettes in the bar, right? I mean, technically, it's not legal to smoke in bars, so... Come on, we're checking. If you find them first, all will be forgiven. <laughs> she didn't do anything wrong, mister. Mr. Charlie. Okay, okay. It looks like you can just run by default, which I like. T.S. Hartley, the Yellow Cross. Okay, from the best-selling author of Shroud of Innocence comes a thrilling reimagining of one of history's most merciless massacres. Kill them all, God will recognize his own. July 22nd, 1209, in just one day, the peaceful city of Beziers has been plunged into massacre. Tyrant crusader Simon de Montfort is determined to purge the city of all practicing Cathars by the most horrific means necessary. Deep in the church of St. Mary, Magdalene's hidden caverns, the last remaining group of Cathar Perfecti, Perfecti have hidden away, but can't hide forever. The youngest Perfecti, Father Escrivan, has come up with a desperate plan to escape. With the help of his... Let me, read, let me try reading it on here. With the help of his lifelong friend, Catholic priest Miret, but it all hinges on the fine balance of bravery and faith. Gripping, thrilling history come alive. This is hardly at its finest, the Herald. Cool. That actually sounds like a pretty cool story that we won't get to read. Okay, I'm feeling there's probably nothing really in here to examine clue-wise. Okay, let's get on with it. The scope of this place is... I can't believe we've lucked into this. Are you worried it will make our other episodes look cheap? They are cheap. Can't be helped. <laughs> this will be the one that people remember. The one that wins an Emmy? Exactly. That's another the book. Stick with me, Erin. I'm going places. Oh, this is the book we threw out into the hallway? Let me worry about that. You stick to making sure that my life runs smoothly, and I'll make sure you keep working. Sound good? Okay, this is the book, yeah. Navigating the Maze of Anxiety. I'm not going to read it on here this time. 
Professor J.P. Hunter is an author and counselor with over 20 years of experience helping patients overcome their anxiety and panic attacks. Within this book, you will find a step-by-step guide designed to give you the tools you need to find a path out of the maze of anxiety. Following a unique monthly plan, you will learn anxiety-busting tips and tricks to incorporate into your busy daily life. Professor J.P. Hunter has helped thousands of people manage their anxieties and given them the confidence they need to break down walls and tackle their demons face-on. Breaking Down Walls, Navigating the Maze of Anxiety is a, no- is a national bestseller. Sounds like you need it, dude. You're freaking out over your cigarettes. Okay. Guess we'll continue down this hallway. Yeah, it's breathing really heavily, really heavily. Ooh, a card. Grantham Demet Architect. Oh, that's it. Is that it? Okay, business card found. Oh, okay. It's a collectible. Well, glad I found it then. Yeah, this game definitely has incorporated some uh, new stuff, which I appreciate. Yeah, my guy is breathing heavily. <laughs> Basically, whichever way she goes, I'm going the opposite way. Okay, another of these oval thingies. You've got to be worth something. Yeah, I think these ones are just worth one. Look at that nine. Making progress. Still have absolutely no idea what these actually do. But we'll cross that bridge when we get there. And by bridge, I don't mean the rickety wooden bridge that's probably going to fall at some point. I'm betting on it. Okay. I'll make sure I'm not missing anything important. Yep. Oh, what do we have here? This is from Grantham Demet to Joseph Morello. Invitation. Mr. Morello, good evening. Thank you for allowing me to contact you directly. A publisher said that you were very keen to hear from me. It seems we have a mutual interest. I've spent several years constructing the ultimate homes tourist experience by faithfully recreating the World's Fair Hotel. Fantastic. We have not yet opened to the public as they are finishing touches to complete, and I consider a man of your knowledge could provide insight that is invaluable for us official opening. Therefore, I invite you to visit the hotel for the weekend. The experience is designed to accommodate groups of five guests. Very fitting. So I extend the invitation to four friends or family of your choosing. I must insist that this invitation be kept confidential until the hotel is publicly announced, so please, only invite guests that you can trust to do so. I hope you can accept my invitation. I wonder if we got something similar. Please reply to confirm your attendance and the four additional guests that you would like to bring. Should you accept, a limousine will pick you up and your guests up at 7 p.m. this Friday underneath the railway railway bridge at the corner of S. Wallace Avenue and W. 63rd Street, Inglewood. Chicago. I'm sure you'll find the experience very interesting indeed. Sincerely, sincerely, Grantham Demet. Okay. Wait, okay, let me just check something real quick. Pick it up again. I want to see if I can flip it to the other side. There is more, and a secret. Mr. Grantham. Okay, this is, uh, okay, this is his response. Thanks, I'd be delighted to come along. I'm sure I can get my wife and two girls to join me. My brother Francis is in town at the minute, so that'll make up the five. I trust them all with my life, so no sweat over uh, confidentiality. See you Friday, Joe. Wait, how do I open the, uh... That's not what I meant to do. Is it R1? To open, like, the character menu? 
Oh, there we go. Um, this is the secret we just got. A printout of an email conversation. Joseph Morello was invited to the hotel with his wife, brother, and two daughters. Why do I feel I'm probably still here in some way or another? Well, I'm glad I discovered that. Okay, I think we can go down now. There's nothing on this table, right? No. Okay, let's go down. Is this stairs? Oh, here's hey, something. Carl. I was hoping next season maybe I could do more with the sound design, more creative stuff. Ha, good one. Well, what you already do for this company is very valuable to them. Carrying your bags and picking no. up your laundry. Absolutely. To get ahead in this industry, you have to pay your dues. Show you're ready to muck in. I... I think you should get an assistant. An assistant? Yeah. Oh, it was just a stupid idea, Charlie. I'm an just... An assistant? A personal assistant? Sort of. That's kind and of what she's getting at. With the editing. Pardon <laughs> me? The editing? The audio mix. Look, I just think... You've got so much to give, so much experience. And it's an opportunity to pass that knowledge on. Right. Yes, I suppose it is. And an assistant wouldn't lose my cigarettes, would they? That's a low blow. Exactly. <laughs> so, do you still want to direct Yeah, I'm trying to inspect Charlie? this thing. I am directing. No, but I mean real movies. With a big budget and big stars. Erin, there's something important. It's a little soft jab. In the work that we do, the very important work, the truth, is the star. Oh, right. Yeah, sorry, Charlie. So you don't want to direct movies. Can we move on from this? <laughs> Can I inspect this now? What is this? Zero one seven eight. Yeah, that was totally worth it. <laughs> okay, a lot of locked doors. I can we just go behind here. Wait a minute. Is that what we're trying to do? Oh no, this isn't the bar. Okay. I can't remember where we're looking for the cigarettes. Oh, that's great. Open! Damn it! Urgh. I can't use a tool here, can I? Oh, the business card. Oh, I see. I got a... I understand. Ooh, what have we here? Uh, welcome, Mr. Hector Monday, 194 Montgomery Road, Silver Spring, MD 20995, August 10th, 1992. Mr. Monday, <laughs> interesting spelling, interesting name, thank you for choosing Twilight Prairie as re residence for your mother. Lucinda is already s settling in very well. We encourage visitors as often as possible and look forward to seeing you again soon. Linda Price, General Manager. Huh, could that be the lady that we saw in the rocking chair? The old lady. Anything else back here? Here's the ledger. Might have to examine it from the other side. Name check and check out. Got Brad Fisher, Rachel Davis, Jackie Fiddle, Scott Thorne, Grace Fletcher. I'm looking to see if any names we recognize. That's not what I meant to do. Oh, secret found. The guest book for the hotel shows when the crew checked in and when the previous parties checked in before them. Oh, this one has a different symbol than the others. Wait, let me go back for a moment. I didn't mean to go forward yet. Harrison Lee, Thomas Hall, Cecile Hall, Kurt Hall. Okay. 
I feel the names of the people right before us are probably the most important. Joseph. Yep, the Morellos. Joseph, Michelle, Francis, Natalie, Bethany, Morello. That they were in the note we found. Charlie Lonnett, Kate Wilder. Oh, that's us. Jamie, Mark, and Keenan. E. Aaron. Okay, cool. But yeah, the Morellos were right before us, like the day before us. So theoretically, they should still be around unless they, they left already. Oh, no, I'm sorry. It says te October 19th to the 25th. So they supposedly left the day before us, but who knows? Maybe they haven't. <laughs> cool. Okay. I'm not sure where the bar is, but I don't want to go just yet. I suppose I should be thankful. It's just my cigarettes that are missing and not our gear. Yeah. Think positive. And they're blocking the entrance. Those bastards. Okay, that might lead to the bar, so let's not go there yet. Okay, I don't really see anything else. Just want to make sure I don't miss anything of importance. Especially since it's a big area. Yeah, I think that's probably it in this room. Okay. Hey, maybe Mr. Dumet is in the back office. You could just ask him about cigarettes. Now there's an idea. Ow. How do you walk into me, assistant? Nothing here. Okay. Is this door? Doors with keels can be unlocked using keys. Makes sense to me. Uh, I don't want to. That was the that was the bell at the uh, concierge desk. Was it not? Are the keys gonna be? Here, waiting here for me. Got okay. Erin, I found the key. Yeah, that's not suspicious at all. Cool, we found the key. You know what? Let's head back to my room and call it a day. I really don't think this is a good idea. Oh! Is that... Oh, I'm sorry, that's Erin. <laughs> I'm sorry. He just scared me just standing there at the end of the hallway like a creepy person. Okay, let's get that key out. Success! Why don't I go check for a gift shop or something? I've already had one asthma attack today, and this dust farm is exactly what I don't need. A gift shop we really shouldn't right. split up. Exactly. Had a girl. Oh, she really did leave. Okay. Good to know. What do we got? Ah, that's Charlie. Okay, I'm assuming that's not a good premonition. One of the death ones. Yep. So Charlie gets trapped in a room and burns to death. Looks like his arm is also like caught in something. Maybe it's one of those wall levers that you gotta put your arm in and like flick and I guess that's telling us not to do that if we have the option. With Charlie specifically. That would be an awful way to go. That's there's so many horrific ways to go when you really think about it. And by go, I mean die. If that wasn't clear. Oh, Hello. what's this? A newspaper. Mr. Dumet. Hello. Oh. Good morning to you all. I'm Chester Bell. 
Assistant Director at the Federal Bureau of Investigation. At approximately 0530 local time, a team led by Special Agent Hector Monday, oh, Monday. supported by law enforcement officers, conducted a raid of a motel room just outside Birmingham, Alabama, to apprehend Manny Sherman, the man known as the Beast of Arkansas. Huh. Using state-of-the-art psychological profiling techniques, Special Agent Monday and members of his task force not only identified their suspect, but predicted his movement with unerring accuracy. I'm delighted to say we have our man. Okay, that's good. Cool. Okay, that was very reminiscent of uh, the last game, uh, House of Ashes. We got like, we collected like journal entries. And it kind of gave us like a, a similar type of thing where it like narrated what was going on with the uh, archaeologists. So it seems like we have two things going on. Obviously we have the stuff regarding the, the hotel itself. And then I think that's what these symbols mean. All the clues with this like little uh, chalk outline picture. The ones with this, uh, with the fingerprint have to do with this, uh, investigator, a completely different thing with investigator, sorry, Inspector Monday and this beast of Arkansas. I'm sure they're going to be connected. That's what I love about these games. I love... You may start really confused, you know, it's one giant mystery. Miss Kelly Schroeder. 7 p.m. Friday. An invitation to the grand opening of the hotel dated 2017. And this takes place modern day, right? Oh, and a new one. Interesting. Okay, Ms. Kelly Schroeder. Once again, I would like to thank you for the incredible work you and your team achieved at the hotel. I'd like to extend my heartfelt condolences. The accident that befell the skeleton crew on the lake is nothing short of a tragedy, and I, in part, feel responsible. In honor of them, I've spent the last several months applying the finishing touches to the hotel, and I'm proud to say that we are almost ready to open to the public. Please allow me to expand, extend my sincere gratitude. I invite yourself and the rest of your team to join me for the grand opening ceremony, 7 p.m., Friday, November 17th, 2017. I promise a spectacular evening with themed entertainment, including a barbershop quartet. I love barbershop quartets. They're so cool. I'm sure you will agree that all of your hard work was worth it when you enjoy the unique hotel experience. Sincerely, Richard Belknap. I had a, uh, I had a science teacher named Mr. Belknap. Okay. Okay. We are learning a lot. Uh, what is that supposed to be? Oh, the cigarette thingy. Wait, I don't want to get the cigarettes yet. Yes. Yes. Uh, of course we want to change. Do we have change? Damn it. There it is. It's mocking us. Do I have to like look for money now? Oh, was that, was that guy standing there the whole time? Probably was. Didn't even notice. Did not even put the light back on. I just wanna, obviously before talking to him, I just wanna make sure I didn't miss anything. Pretty sure I looked through this rather extensively. Okay. Did I check this corner? Let's go talk to the man. Oh wait. I don't know. Let's talk to him. Unless he's not real. Is that like a mannequin, maybe? <laughs> wow. An animatronic. Ah. Huh. That's what amazing. What would it be, Mr. Dumas, sir? <laughs> I'll have a packet of cigarettes, please. A packet uh, no. of cigarettes, please. Hello? Hello? A packet of smokes. Does he know you're not Mr. Dumas? It's too good to be true. Never mind. Thank you, Robo Farmer. <laughs> sir, whatever you wish. Oh. <laughs> no fucking way. I don't suppose you've got any spare change back there, have you? Sure not. 
Okay, can I just break into your cash register then? Cause I... Okay, I don't mind if I do. <laughs> don't mind me. Oh! Next round's on me. Promise. I tell you, I get, I get, sca I get scared from the stupidest crap. Like, like nothing spooky has really, ha or at least genuinely scary, has even happened yet. So we're in for a treat. Okay, so I got the money. When oh, I was about to say, wouldn't it be ironic if it was completely empty? Oh, no, 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 please, come on, no. You'll live. Probably for the best. Oh. No. No, please! I'm having a really shit day, and you've just made it worse. I don't, it's an inanimate object. I don't think it cares. Okay, should we try talking to the uh, robo guy again? Yay! Oh, yes. oh, thank you, Lord. Ha. Bar. Oh, great! Is he gonna try and kill me? I don't like this. What? No, come on, you piece of shit. Don't <laughs> do this to me. Run, please. Uh, antique rubbish. Give them to me. Give me my cigarettes. Right. Turn around, please. I'm going to go and get my key grip, and they are going to kick the shit out of you. Hey, Charlie. Oh. Yeah. I'm still in the bar. I think Hello. it's dinner time. We should get everyone out. Okay, I'm coming. I'm oh, you you cheeky little fucking cry bar. Are you alone in there? They got me. Who's that behind the bar? What? <laughs> okay, I had a feeling. It didn't look like Aaron when it was showing it, so I think it must have went and hid when Aaron was coming. Mark's bedroom, 7.27 p.m., October 26th. Hey, had a shot on an intro segment. You want to shoot now? Yeah, if we get it shot in the bank, maybe Charlie will stop rewriting everything I come up with. Yeah, that's... Okay, sure. What? Nothing. Just give me a check, and I'll be good to go. I'm supposed to buy nothing is eating away at you? Yeah. How many times have you cleaned that lens? I'm just prepping my gear. Really? Yeah. Always focusing on the detail, Mark. What about taking a huge risk and just do something? I watched you fuss for a whole week before you turned down that job offer, all because you have to take one extra train to get there. You must be honest. The wasn't the right move. Sincere. The train thing confirmed it. Lindsay, I don't buy it. You don't have to buy it. Come on, let's just shoot this. Let's use natural light so we can do it alone. Didn't the lobby have skylights? Oh, I don't remember. I just want to look decent. <laughs> you look good in any light. You look good in any light. I'm not worried. Are you trying to butter me up? You're definitely setting up some romances here. Marginally. I'll take it. Uh, why are you letting them all think I broke up with you? I feel like if Jamie knew the truth, she might back off. I mean, they all just assume. You can't decide if that's sweet or selfish, or both. Before we, look, can I say something? We agreed that we're sticking to just the job. Right, which is why you can't just roll up and drive by psychoanalyze me. I Okay, you're right. 
That wasn't fair. I'm sorry. Okay, no it's a talking it out. Stuff. Let's just work. Okay, yeah, he's not at the time. I am. Um, you're right. We agreed. I'm sorry. Look, let's go find some light and get started. Thanks for doing Sounds like a plan. You're only asking me because your arms are too short for a good selfie angle. My arms are not short. <laughs> Where to? Uh, the balcony would make for a cool angle. Okay. I think I'm going to stop it here for now. So, things are starting to get here. You know, we're getting used to the hotel. We're kind of just go. Some relationships are evolving, you know. Jamie and Erin are getting pretty far. And these two definitely have some uh, history, so... It's interesting. As I'm, as I'm seeing these kind of relationships, romantic relationships that develop, I'm kind of wondering, obviously, the, the, the people we started with in the prologue were a couple as well. So I wonder if... I wonder if maybe this uh, artist guy is after couples. Like, maybe that's part of who he goes after. That would be interesting. Like, maybe you're not... Maybe the smart thing to do is not pursue that. But I'm totally going to, because, I mean, that's, like, the first thing I do. <laughs> if there's a relationship between two people, unless, I, unless it really seems toxic or, like, I don't like the characters. I, I always pursue romance uh, when you have the option to. Again, nothing overtly creepy has happened yet, but we're getting more clues. We're learning about different families that have stayed here and a bunch of different incidents that I'm sure will eventually uh, connect with each other. But, um, yeah, I'm excited to uh, see what this the mystery this hotel has in store for us. So, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're enjoying the series so far, hit the like button and the notification bell so you know more of these videos go up. Subscribe to the channel. That would really, really help me out. And, as always, um, share the video and the channel with your friends, family, and loved ones. I appreciate you guys, and I'll see you next time. So take care, and bye-bye.